It's crazy just to say I'm working on a fourth book at only 26 years old, but this one is going to be, I think it's like my dream book because it's what I've been wanting to write and what I've been preparing to write. And this one is going to be a lot more personal. We started filming my documentary and something that was very important for me was that I didn't want it to be an hour of just me. I wanted it to be something where anyone of any age could go and watch this documentary and see themselves or see a loved one. We were very shocked and a bit angry to see that there is nothing in place to protect kids. We found the Safe Schools Improvement Act that Representative Linda Sanchez, who's based in California, had been trying to get put to the floor for over eight years with no success. And I'm the type of person, as well as Sarah, when we see a need and we know that we can do something to help, we're going to do it. And so we got plane tickets, we went to DC, we went to Capitol Hill directly to meetings with different congressmen and women so I could sit down and really say, why isn't this bill being passed? We were faced with really two things. The first thing was the older generation saying bullying should happen. Kids should be bullied. It makes their skin thicker. It makes them tougher. On the other hand, it was bullying is something that's never going to stop. So why should we do something if it's not going to work? I'm definitely a huge supporter of social media. Before I got my first MySpace account, I remember asking my parents if I could get one. And right before I did, they said, we'll support you as long as you know, not everyone is going to have something nice to say. So even before I found that awful video, I was online fully aware, knowing that not everyone is going to be so kind with their words. And as you can imagine, when I found that video, that whole thought process just went out the window and I was just absolutely crushed. But over time and after I was able to turn that around and figure out a way to take control of it, uh, I'm absolutely so grateful for social media. It's continuing to grow every day, and there's so many new ways that we can connect with each other. When we start to have a lot of problems, it's really not what's happening in the school. It's coming from the community because of social media and students, their families who start engaging in not-so-nice arguments. <laughs>